Hello, this is Bhavak Desai from the Nutanix Tech Marketing Team. And in this video, I'll give you a brief overview of the Nutanix Controller Virtual Machine or CVM that provides all the intelligence of Nutanix software. So let's take a look. Now that we have a Nutanix cluster, let's do a brief overview of the brains behind Nutanix software, the Nutanix Controller Virtual Machine. So let's go to the vCenter server. Now every node in the cluster gets its own CVM. The CVM is basically a CentOS VM uh, configured with the CPU and memory as defined by the foundation process. The intelligence of Nutanix software is spread in the CVM uh, machines in a distributed manner across all CVM processes on the individual nodes. Now, there are a couple of in important things that you need to be aware of in terms of how the CVM provides uh, storage and networking services. So first, for storage, the local disks on uh, individual node are PCI passed through to the CVM and the CVM owns those disks, uh, own, owns those disks. Once that's done, all the CVMs in the cluster form a container. And let's go and take a look at that. All the CVMs together form a shared container uh, on the Nutanix cluster, which is then presented to uh, the ESXi cluster as an NFS data store. This is exactly similar to how an external storage array would provide a data store to your ESXi environment. Now, uh, next, let's take a look at how networking works uh, from a CVM perspective. So from in each individual host, uh, what we have is uh, a standard uh, vSwitch that is created uh, on every individual host. Now this can be a standard ESXi uh, vSwitch or it can also be a distributed vSwitch. What the standard vSwitch ha has is a VM kernel port where the host gets its IP address and then a port group where the CVM gets its external IP address. This uh, IP address is used for inter-CVM communication for doing uh, your redundant traffic uh, and communication between all the CVMs in the cluster. In addition to that, and a special vSwitch, uh, which is internal to the host, uh, is created, which is called the vSwitch Nutanix. What we have in this is a VM kernel port with the address 192.168.5.1, which is assigned to the host. And then the CVM uh, is bound to a port group with the IP address 192.168.5.2 and 5.254. Now this uh, uh, communication is uh, the communication for storage traffic inside uh, the host from the uh, inside the host from the host to the CVM. That's how the CVM presents data services uh, to the host, and the host is able to talk to CVM uh, for its storage traffic. And these IP addresses are uh, important and special in, in the fact that if there is a failure on the CVM or if the CVM goes down, all the system needs to do is do an ARP update and inject a route table, a route into the route table where uh, the host can start talking to a CVM on other hosts uh, if the local CVM goes down. So this was just a brief overview of what CVM looks like in an ESXi environment. 